Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up guys? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to the Head Start Lab series and part two of creating a song in Logic Pro X. Now, if you haven't watched the first video, uh, creating a song in Logic Pro X part one, I definitely recommend that you go back to that. Uh, simple way of doing it is subscri subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to find it uh, once you search. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and continue with our little uh, series here in creating a song in Logic Pro X. This is going to be part two. And yeah, uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, we're going to be working with some audio loops right here, uh, five in particular, and we're going to go ahead and build up our song right here. Okay, cool. So uh, again, we have uh, five different uh, loops that we found here in Apple's loop library. Okay, these are all in the key of C. And I have a really good idea of what I'm going to do with all of these loops and how I'm going to arrange them in this project. So I definitely recommend that you guys pause the video and uh, write down these if you want to follow along. I got the mirror ball synth, the pulse joy synth layers, pure candy synth layers, fast gated synth, and pure love synth layers. Now in the next video, part three, we're going to go ahead and do some adjustment to our arrangement, of course. And then in our future videos, we're going to add more instruments, virtual instruments, and, you know, of course, learn how to mix this down and the rest of the fun stuff in our next videos. So let's go ahead and start out by making this arrangement. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and start with our mirror ball. We're going to stretch this all the way out to the end of our intro. We grab our pulse joy synth layers. Okay, cool. And we're going to go ahead and, and uh, stretch this out to measure number 48, which is the end of our verse. So here we are, the end of measure 40, 48. Cool. Uh, next, we're going to grab our pure candy and start that at uh, measure number 33. Stretch that out to the end of the verse. Cool. So we've done that. Next, we're going to grab our fast gated synth. Okay. And we're going to start that at measure 39. And we're going to end that at the end of the bridge until the end of the bridge. So cool. We got that. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our pure love uh, synth right here. And we're going to go ahead and drag that to measure 57. Awesome. Until the end of the verse. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, pure candy again. Where's our pure candy? Oop, didn't mean to move that. Right here. And we're going to go ahead and start that at measure number 81 until, or actually, yeah, 81 until the end of measure 212. So let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go to the end of our song right here. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our Pulse Joy synth. Let's go ahead and select that. Go ahead and copy it. Start that up at measure 65. Have it end at the end of our song. We're probably drag this a bit longer. Cool. And we're also going to grab, I believe that's actually pretty much it. Okay, so very simple little arrangement right here. You see we go through some changes. And we're going to go ahead and hit play.
So I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of the names to some of these loops are pretty similar. That's how you know some of these, you know, loops are going to work together well. What I'm going to go ahead and do is add a very small automation on the master just to lower the volume at the end. And of course, these are all loops in the key of C, but there's plenty of different loops to choose from. I mean, this loop library is humongous in all different keys and all different tempos. So making a song is actually pretty darn easy in Logic Pro. And of course, when this song is all completed, I'm going to make it available for you guys to go ahead and download and have some fun, remix it, pretty much do your thing. So of course, this was a very simple little song. Uh, but we're going to want to make sure that we save it. So let's go ahead and do a command S and we'll save our project. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one metamorphosis. Why not? That looks about right. And we'll go ahead and hit save. And there we go. Now, um, you always want to make sure that you're constantly saving your project as you're moving along because then you could definitely lose your work. Uh, but yeah, it's, a, it's all saved right now. Now in the next video, we're going to go ahead and work on editing this around a little bit. And then of course, in our other videos, adding other virtual instruments. So of course, I'll catch you guys on those videos. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.